Hey guys, it's Brian, and welcome back to another Firebird Fridays video here on Arrowhead Garage. Today, we need to install a new water pump on our 67 Firebird if we're going to make it to Firebird Fest in St. Louis in just a few more weeks. This is the last major piece of the puzzle to make sure this car is ready to rock and roll. So, let's get into this. Thank you to the guys down at CarQuest. Wayne, you're awesome in Queen Creek. Appreciate you for helping us out, hooking us up with this water pump. Let's stop the talking, let's get the wrenching on this week's episode of Firebird Fridays. Hey, what are you guys doing on my engine bay? Get, get out, I got stuff. Get, here, come over here. Get, get out of my damn engine bay. Come on, come on. The last time I invite you guys over on Fridays to help me with the car if you're going to be drinking. No more Clinton around. Now, let's get into this. So, we need to take off this bolt, loosen up the fan shroud so we can get the four bolts that hold the fan blade off. We can pull that off. Then we can start to disassemble everything to pull that whole thing out. So, let's get this undone first. Take this off. All right, got that and this. Take that. Let that loose. All right, now we can sneak our hand in there and get those bolts. So right there, you can see we got four bolts that we need to uh, pull out. Okay, half-inch bolts on these down here. There's one. And just lost a damn washer. Number two. There's that second one. There's number three. And the last one. All right. Got those four bolts out. Now I should be able to just pull that fan right off. Yep. Up it comes. And along with the fan shroud. Slip that out too. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just take off all this here. But first... I think we'll disconnect the battery and get that done. Get that off of there. Okay. Now we don't have to worry about any kind of electrical issues. Next, we're going to disconnect this uh, from the alternator and get that out of the way. All right. That bolt right there. Loosen up the tension. There's the bolt for the alternator. Now we can get that boat loosened, but we got to loosen up this bad boy here on the water pump. There we go. So, bolt right back here. I know you guys can't see it, but that is the bolt that holds the uh, angle. Now it should. Yeah, there we go. All right, now we can pull off that belt. Then we can pull off this alternator belt. All right, alternator belt is off. And we can pull that pulley off as well. All right, next, it looks like we're going to take both of these all things off, so we're going to get this screwed undone. That's that shorty one that goes in the bottom there. Then this big sucker here, that's a long one. Is that? It is bigger than that. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Yeah, that's it right there. That's the big old nine sixteenths. All right, and that's that's a big one. All 
All right. Now that out of the way, we just gonna just pull this alternator and just take her and set her off to the side. And now we can get to that bolt there. Go ahead and pull this off. Oh, there's one. Yep, it's right there. That one's on there as well. So we need one more of those. All right, there's that one. And just so that I can keep them all aligned, there's those two right there. Okay, now. We got ourselves a water pump that we can uh, get some access to here. Let's see if there's any more of these big bolts. Nope. And let's see, that's a small one down there. There's one. There's the big one. That big one holds on to that motor mount, so make sure you put that to the side as well. Now I think the rest of those are going to be that smaller one. Let's see what we got down here. That bottom one right there, that smaller one. Another little shorty one. Grab this one here. There's another one of them shorty ones. Oh, there she goes. Looks like there's one way down here. I'll break the torque on that. Not yet. Not nice yet on that one either, huh? All right. We'll just keep going. I think it might be time for a a recharge on this darn thing. There we go. And that's kind of on bottom. Oh, one over there now. down below and so we have one more right there and that's it just got one more down there all right let's get down in there let's see if i can find that again and here she's coming
Well, that water pump still looks pretty darn good, but you know what we're missing? <laughs> we're missing that uh, plate. That's the problem. We're missing the plate that goes on this. It's probably part of our problems. See if we can't. Oh. I don't think they're uh, supposed to look like that. <laughs> Pulling. Those are like probably the originals and they're rusted in. Oh boy. All right. Well, I think we're going to have to take off that entire uh, timing chain cover to uh, get to what we need to do. Here are those. Uh, so this is what those new inserts look like. So if I try to put these in, you can see they're not going in because uh, they're still in the old ones are still in there. So we're going to have to take off that timing cover chain. So, uh, Let's get to that, I guess. I guess step number one probably be to take off those hose clamps right there. Get ourselves a flathead. Take this uh, heater hose one off first, I guess. There we go. All right, now that bottom hose. Now, Lower hose it off, put that off to the side. Oh yeah, fuel pump. Okay, I guess we'll go and take this last bolt out and free up this uh, power steering pump here. All right, one power steering pump. Now we got access to that fuel pump. We'll take that off next. Bolt pump. There's fuel pump. Okay. Next, there's uh, four bolts that hold the pulley onto the harmonic balancer. And I'm betting those are. But let's see here. And they are a half inch. So let's just get in there. Four half inch bolts on that pulley. Well, I bet you we have to take off that uh, crank bolt now in order to uh, get this all the way off. So let's see here. I can't get that. That's just, that's too damn hard. God, that bolt is on the tight. You know what I need? I, I'll, I need a silver bullet to get this uh, damn crank bolt off. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, now I can do it. Now I can do it. Now let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. See, sometimes you just need a silver bullet to help you. Let's see here. There it is. There she is. Woohoo! I'm just I'm I'm kidding. It stop. Look, let me let me show you what happened. You see, I've always wanted one of these big half inch suckers and uh I didn't have a reason to go spend, you know, a hundred bucks or so for one of these, but this new Harbor Freight one, this Bauer one, well, it's made in China. They are a company based out of California. So I just whipped this on here. I said I just 
I just whipped this on here and whoop, 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 and that sucker came right off. So uh, good job, Harbor Freight, for $130, uh, you know, I got one of these damn things. All right, let's get back to work. All right, now. Crowbar. There we go. Oh, oh shit, look at that. I'm going to take off the harmonic balance and everything. Well, let's just see here. Well. <laughs> Who said they needed a harmonic balancer to pull this damn thing off? Ay, ay, ay. Now, there should be one, two, three, four. Guess we can take these uh, belts out now. Now, this is going to be a trick to get these off in the bottom here. All right, should be one more bolt back here on that lower timing cover to the oil pan. And there it is. All right, so four of them small little suckers. Now, I believe there's two more bolts, but mine's snapped off. You remember I had to cut it. That's part of our oil leak. So let's see if we can get that other one over there. Okay. All right. Now, in all theory, <laughs> this thing should just pop off. Two more bolts that hold this thing on. That looks like a stud. All right, there's one there. Let's see if we can get it the other way. This is my 3 8 inch impact from Bauer as well. There we go. And that one's done. Okay, now I believe we can get a uh, timing cover off. There we go. Woo we man. Oh gnarly. Look at how rusted. That looks like the Grand Canyon down in there. And uh on that seal there. Backside. Now the orange is me. But uh yeah, let's uh let's get this into the uh a bath of vinegar. Let's see if we can't clean this up. Made in America. Unfreaking believable. Perfect fit. Yes. All right. Well, got some vinegar. Let's just go ahead and get this in there and get it sitting for a little bit. All right, now we're just going to let it sit, and after an hour, we'll flip it over, and we'll see what happens. All right, while well, that's soaking, let's turn our attention back to the motor. Holy guacamole. All right, so lots of rest there. All that orange is my doing, but look, there's barely even enough room in that crossover. Look at that. Man. Wow, that looks pretty decent down there, but... That right there looks pretty gnarly. I think I want to go and see if I can't get all that RTV and stuff out of the uh, passageway right there.
but you just can't get in here and my goodness well there's the ill ring and along with uh wow. look at that look how tight that was Yeesh. now all of this here stuff this is me because i was trying to fix that water leak in here the razor blade a little bit and there was a ton of rtv on that from the last person and me and we know why they did so much rtv is because they didn't have the bolt that goes here which i now have of course i didn't make it any better if we can't clean this up a little bit one of the good old-fashioned metal kind cheap insurance to do it while you're in there so since we got the press out I'm gonna see if I can't press out these those sleeves that are rusted in there look at that those are rusted in there let me see if I can't pop those out well let's see if we got it we got it out look at that oh it was completely rusted whole oh, wowzers all right let's get that other one out okay so what i did is i just kind of hammered in on that sleeve so we can get a little bit more surface to push down on there we go out it came there she is there's the the old one there oh man sweet now let's uh clean this up okay so we're just gonna put a uh, little Dremel brush on it, see if we can't clean this up. Well, I figure here in Phoenix, Arizona, where it's going to be 100 damn degrees today in April, let's just grease this. Easy off. Should be fine. Should work fine. All right, well, let's sit for a little bit. Well, I think we're going to call it a day today. We'll do part two next week. If you notice in the first part of the video what the big problem we ran into, or one of the many big problems, there's a stud sticking out of the front of the block, and that's not supposed to be sticking out of the block. It's a broke-off bolt. Uh, but if you caught that, leave a comment down below and tell me what bolt that is, and I'm going to be giving some prizes away so you might win something, like one of these uh, Firebird 400 shirts. We got them in the store. There's a link down below. Also got some cool caps to help support the channel help keep the Firebird on the road. 
So with that, guys, we'll see you in part two next Friday. We'll see you next week for part two of Firebird Fridays on replacing the water pump and redoing the timing cover chain on our 67 Firebird with a 350 poncho from 1977. So with that, we'll see you next Friday, guys. Be good. <laughs>